good morning students today we are going to discuss the histopathological features for case number 27 case number 17 before we discuss the histopathological slide first we will revise the clinical scenario so in this case a 27 year old female came to a dental clinic with complaint of painless growth on the maxillary anterior gingiva in relation to 1 1 since last three months the lesion was 1 cm by 1.5 cm in size well defined sessile growth which was firm and non tender on palpation the patient gave no history of fever or discharge from the region all teeth in the region were vital so here you can see a a sessile growth on the gingiva measuring 1 cm by 1.5 cm and this has been presence present since 3 months so to evaluate this lesion we prescribe a excisional biopsy Once the biopsy specimen is processed, it can be studied histopathologically. So let us see the histopathological features for this lesion. Here is a digital slide for case number 17. The tissue in the lower magnification correlates it to the excisional nature of the biopsy. As you can see here, the epithelial lining on the periphery followed by the connective tissue. So, upon magnification, we can notice that the tissue is hyperorthokeratinized stratified squamous epithelium with atrophic changes. The underlying connective tissue stroma is highly cellular and also shows a mineralized product within the connective tissue. Further magnification will reveal that these are irregular trabeculae of bone showing osteocytes within lacunae and which are lined by osteoblastic rimming. The surrounding stroma as you can see is highly cellular and reveals numerous spindle shaped cells with a central nucleus. So these features are suggestive of peripheral ossifying fibroma. So to identify a lesion as a peripheral ossifying fibroma, we must remember that the connective tissue will show numerous 
densities of mineralized product which are regularly irregular trabeculae of bone and which are surrounded by a cellular stroma. The overlying epithelium may show atrophic changes or may sometimes be ulcerated. So now we can see the remaining part of the slide for your observation. As you can see here, we have a smaller area of mineralization here. The bulk of the mineralization is towards the other side over here. The lower part of the connective tissue is densely fibrous. We can see few scattered areas of inflammatory cell infiltration. As we move towards the superficial aspect, we can see that the, there is an increase in cellularity and the appearance of bony trabeculae or areas of mineralization. which is covered by the overlying epithelium.